Support for this episode is provided by Acme Tools. You can support my channel by making your next tool purchase at my Acme Tools store. I'll have a link in the description below. I start by ripping two strips of wood at 3 eighths of an inch. These are for the outside of the jig. Then I'll hold the two strips together on top of the workpiece and take a measurement. This measurement is for the center of the jig and that's my next rip. Now I'll take the part for the center and cross cut it at one inch and five inches. Now I'll attach the parts back together, keeping the one inch block flush at the end and attaching the center piece at the five inch mark. This will create a four inch gap in the center of the jig. The next step is to make the shoulders of the jig. For this part I'm using half inch plywood. I'll attach the plywood shoulders to the center of the jig with wood glue and 18 gauge inch and a quarter nails. I cut the shoulders of the jig a little long and I'll attach them a few inches beyond the front of the jig. This will provide additional support for the router while I'm making the cut. I'll clamp the jig in place, keeping the front of the jig flush with the top of the leg. Before we cut the mortise, let's take a quick look at the router bit and the router setup. This is called a Staggertooth plunge cutting bit. This one's made by Amata Tools and I'll have a link to it in the description below. It's got a half inch shank and this bit measures four and a half inches long. The collet in the plunge router is a three quarter inch collet. I've never had a router bit break on me, but I have heard that it can happen. So here I'm using a piece of half inch MDF as a little precaution. To make the cut, I'll plunge down a quarter to three eighths of an inch at a time and periodically clean out the mortise with the air chuck. Okay, so this is a pretty simple jig to make. 
and it works great. The project that I'm working on is a table. I guess this is a pretty modern design. I did post a video to my second channel, Shop Talk, if you want to know more about this model. Uh, one thing I didn't mention in that video is the model is made of white oak and the scale is one eighth of an inch equals one inch. These are the legs and I'll just show you what they look like now because they're pretty close to being done. So this is one of the four legs. The table is mainly being built with lap joints and mortise and tenon. And this video should be done in about two weeks. The next step is to get to work on the tabletop. So if you're not subscribed, I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and then you'll know when that video is posted. As always, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Before you start your next project, click on the link in the description below for my professional woodworking plans, and follow me on Instagram to see what I'm working on today.